What's up, y'all? Man, it's been a minute, but fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into like all the details about why I haven't been uploading and the at the end of the video. If y'all want to stick around, find out whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'll let y'all know later. I just kind of wanted to get into the topic, man. Just start get straight into it. So, um. A lot of shit's been happening, uh, and I've been trying to make videos. I've been trying to, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't, I, I didn't record for a long time. It, it was probably a few couple months, maybe, I don't know, where I didn't record any videos at all. Uh, but lately I've been trying to record something, just get something recorded to post. But it's been so hard because, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so much shit has happened that I just feel like I can't talk about it because it's just some shit that if I feel like if I talked about it, it just wouldn't end well for me. And um, I don't know, it just wouldn't fucking, it wouldn't pan out that well. But um, I will talk about this because I feel like I can, I can twist this to make it not fucked up. So um, this is what happened. Um, me and my guys, we go to this future concert in Dallas, right? And, uh, cause I wanted to go, uh, my other friend wanted to go, my other friend really didn't know any future songs like that, but we're like, fuck it, let's go. Uh, it was pretty mid. I heard videos, people talking about how it was mid. It was all right. I mean, I don't know. It, it just wasn't, he didn't show out as much as I thought he would. And it's just... I, my bar is high as fuck because the first only concert I've ever been to is Travis Scott and you know Travis Scott bro. like bro you, if you know the stigma around Travis Scott concerts you'll know what I'm talking about it's just crazy as fuck it's a whole movie uh, but this future concert was way it done way down it was just you know just mid uh, but anyway we go to this future concert we're in Dallas and um you know, I know a couple people in Dallas, you know what I'm saying, who happen to be female. And, uh, you know, I post on my story on Instagram, I'm like, I post my location, like, hey, I'm in Dallas right now. Or I just post like a video, or I post a picture of our Airbnb, it's tagged with the location downtown Dallas, right? So, that was the play, right? I, 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 put, I fucking casted the rod in. And I was waiting for a bite, you know what I'm saying? That's how I was treating this shit. This wasn't no fucking random post where I was just, just randomly posting I was in Dallas. I did this shit because I knew I had females on my Instagram who were from Dallas who would see this shit and maybe swipe up and be like, what's up, you in my city? Because I'm not the type of dude to be like, I'm in your city, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, Little did I know, lucky enough, you know, I post on my story of Mandela's. This one girl swipe up. She like, oh, so you in my city is what you're saying. And I was like, yeah, I am. And then, you know, this is, I'm pretty sure this is before the concert. So I text her, we're texting back and forth, talking about how I'm going to this concert. She's like, oh, I hope you have fun. I'm like, yeah, me too. And then I say, you trying to come over try to see me after the concert she was like yeah that's fine with me it just depends on what time you get out so i was like all right bet you know what i'm saying hopefully we get out this bitch early so the concert starts at what eight i think and then um i think we end up getting out somewhere around 11 o'clock it was 11 o'clock 10 30 somewhere around there so we get back to the airbnb it's this little apartment it looked back roomy -ish, you know what I'm saying? It looked really, it just looked weird. It looked fucking um, dystopian or whatever the fuck. It, it looked weird. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I don't know why I even mentioned that. So um, we get to this Airbnb and we're chilling, right? And I'm texting this girl talking about, hey, I just got back. When you, can you pull up? Blah, 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 blah. A few minutes go by and then she finally respond. And then... Um, She's like, yeah, I can come over. So I'm like, bet, you know, and I'm I'm hyped up. My friends are hyped, you know, they're like, oh shit, what the fuck? 
And uh, she's like, yeah, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I'm like, damn, 20 minutes. That's like, that's kind of close. I was like, fuck, I got to like shower and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to get right. So shower, boom, whatever. Waiting for this girl to come. Did she finally get there, you know, around 20 minutes later? Man, I'm nervous in a bitch, I'll tell you, because I ain't never met this girl. I, I have never met this girl, like, face-to-face. -face. We've talked over text, whatever, she's cool, but we never met face-to-face, -face, right? So, boom, she gets to the apartment, the Airbnb, right? And so, boom, I'm, I, I walk out the door, and I had to walk down this fucking sketchy-ass alley to this uh, parking lot that's down there that she parked at. And so I walk down there, I meet her, you know, she gets out of her car. At first I called her because I didn't know where the fuck she was at. So I was like, where you at? She was like, oh, I'm in the parking lot. So I had to walk all the way there. I'm like, I bet. So I meet her, she hop out the car and we hug, whatever. We're catching up talking. And so we go our way or make our way to the Airbnb. So, uh, no. Things led to another, one thing led to another, blah, 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 blah. We get the Airbnb, you know, we sit in the bed, we're cuddling, whatever, watching a movie. You know, maybe an hour go by, we start making out. Boom, 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 you know the deal, you know what happened, right? I'm not even gonna get into that shit. Uh, yeah, so then we left. Or no, no, she, she low-key spent the night. I ain't gonna lie, she, she spent the night at that shit. We get up, we couldn't even sleep for real, so we get up early as fuck. It's like 6 a.m., and so she's telling me, oh, she's like, Joel, I think I need to go back to my to my house or some shit. I'm, I haven't been able to sleep, I'm tired. And I was like, all right. So I walk her out to her car, you know, and I hug her. We kiss each other like we fucking been dating for two years. And then she fucking gets her in her car and leaves. I'm like, all right, cool, what, successful night, you know what I'm saying? But this is the thing, man. And I ain't never think this would happen. And you know, situate. I've been in situations like this a lot over these past few months where I haven't been making videos. So I never thought this shit like this would happen because it hasn't happened until this point. I caught feelings for this girl, bro. Real feelings. You know what I'm saying? I have. I ain't had a crush in a long time. This was the first time. First time in a long time. First time in a long time that I've had a crush on a girl. I, I had a crush on her for real, for real. Because we were talking, whatever, and like, you know, I'm getting to know her more and shit. Man, this girl was cool as fuck. And I'm just sitting there thinking, damn, bruh. Damn, boy. You know what I'm saying? Because we just, you know, we did that. We slept together on the first time we ever met. And now I have feelings for her. So, I mean, it's just, and you know what I'm saying? People, or dudes will be like, uh, they'll say, oh, I ain't dating a girl that I fuck on the first date because I know she for the streets or some shit like that. It goes both ways, bro. Like, when I tell you that shit goes both ways, and I just figured this shit out <laughs> like this, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Fucking, it goes both ways. Girls can think the same thing about dudes, man. And you gotta be careful about that shit. Because if a girl fucks you on the first date, you you gave it up, too. Don't even, it, like, it ain't, it ain't a one-sided thing. This is, this. there's two sides, man. You know, if you fuck a girl on the first date, you were easy, too. That's just how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are both easy, and then y'all go y'all separate ways after that. That's usually how it goes. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it went for every other girl except this one, for me, at least. Because, you know, I got I shouldn't... You know what I'm saying? Like, moral of the story for this shit is I just shouldn't have gave it up like that. I shouldn't have hit on the first time we met. You know what I'm saying? But, um... She was low key. She was cool, bro. She was cool as fuck. And uh, you know, we, we were talking. We had like the same music taste. We grew up on the same shit. Um, whatever, whatever. And on top of that, she was Latina. So, you know, it was just, it was all checking out for me. The boxes were checked for me. If you know me, the boxes were fucking checked. You know what I'm saying? Every box in the shit was checked. 
and she wasn't no dumb girl either like she was smart you know what i'm saying she was a smart girl she was studying fucking neuroscience this, this girl was smart you know what i'm saying so um just it was just a bad play on my part doing that shit on the first time we ever met you know what i'm saying i shouldn't have like initiated that shit whatever whatever but uh basically we get to talking or whatever and i'm i'm thinking about dating or whatever and this is we talk we're talking for a week and a half maybe after this concert and this literally was the concert was not even two weeks ago i, I think it might be exactly two weeks ago when this happened um uh, so we you know we're talking a week and a half after the concert and i think it's cool shit and uh you know nine days for me at least i don't want to be wasting my time i don't want to be wasting my energy i know female unless i know she's like down for what i'm trying to be down for you know what i'm saying so um you know i think a weekend to me talking to her i ask her straight up uh i don't even know if it was straight up i think the conversation just kind of led to this point where um i was talking about how i kind of you know i was kind of expressing my feelings being like i wanted to commit i think i don't even remember how this shit came up but fuck all that what she said was this is what she said she was saying that oh you know i know this is fucked up to, to you know she was like i know this is fucked up for me to think like this because of what we did fucking the first day um but i want to like i want to commit to you blah 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 so she so i from what i thought was going on was that she was feeling the same way she was reciprocating everything so i was like bet you know what i'm saying this is exactly what i was winning in the first place so i'm still talking to her but this is the thing man she would take forever to respond to my text bruh and i'm when i say forever i mean all sometimes all fucking day you know what i'm saying and this happened for a week a week a week and a half maybe she would just i would text her and it would be eight damn hours before she would ever even think about texting me back but she would at some points in the day maybe when she was not doing shit you know what i'm saying maybe she was it was late at night and she was fucking sleeping she fucking um would finally we would get to text them back and forth but most of the time during the day she didn't make no time to text me so that kind of felt weird man because i me i, I pick up on this shit and i'm really i'm really i don't know what it is my mom always told me i had a gift but i can I can really just sense people's feelings. I, I feel like I feel like I can sense people's feelings way more than just the normal person. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being fucking cocky or fucking I don't know, being a narcissistic dickhead. But I feel like I feel like I can I can read the room a lot better than most people. You know, I, you know what I'm saying. And really reading the room is just having common sense. I, and having having common sense isn't that common, you know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like I got a lot more common sense than a lot of people. So whenever, you know, and I know it's kind of like, duh, she's not responding to your text like immediately. She's she's waiting eight hours. Obviously, she's not reciprocating the same energy. But I mean, even when even when we were talking and it was feeling like we're going back and forth. I could just feel something was off, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like this light shit. And I would do shit to like test the waters. Like, uh, I, I can't remember. I think this one time I told her I was, uh, I just got out of the gym. And, I, and like, uh, I think the day before that, I was talking to her about how I, I haven't really taken a lot of pictures after the gym uh, lately because I've just been in and out the gym. I, I used to take pictures like every time I would leave, I would, I would stop by the locker room and like, get a pump picture in or something but um i told her i haven't been able to do that lately because i've just been busy i've just been in and out but i told her i remember i tested the waters because i was like if she asks to see the pictures then she fucks with me because i feel like any any girl who you be flirting with and she likes you and you like her and, and at least in my experience whenever you say especially 
if it's like a fucking pump picture at the, the gym, they're gonna ask you to see that shit. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was is um uh, I got at the gym and I was like, uh, I, I told her I was I was like, hey, I just got at the gym. I finally got to take pictures. And then she just completely disregarded that whole statement. And I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it now. Like, she don't fuck with me. Like, she don't fuck with me like that. This is how it is. But she wouldn't tell me straight up. So I had to get it out of her at some point. And, I mean, it was just a little sly shit that I was catching every now and then where I would just be like, yeah, she don't fuck with me. Because all of our conversations were so platonic and, like, it's not flirty. Even when I tried to get some flirty energy going, it was just fucking nah like it, it just it didn't feel right you know what i'm saying and this is what i was saying i feel like i feel shit way fucking more than a lot of people i don't know what it is even when i would i mean it's just like when i would try to be flirty with her it just didn't feel right at all like it just did not it just didn't fucking feel right and that that usually doesn't happen you know what i'm saying when i'm talking to a girl and I'm, I'm usually, I know the girl likes me, so I can just text back and, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, it didn't feel right at all, just being flirty with her, you know what I'm saying? I just, it just didn't feel right. So then, I just straight up asked her one day, I was like, yo, because I was tired of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I was tired of fucking wasting my damn energy on this girl, because I would literally be at work. I, bro, I swear to God, I would be making myself busy just so I could forget about her not texting me back. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I, I bro, I, for, I, bro, I would fucking, I would clean, I cleaned my whole room one time. I did fucking laundry. I folded my clothes. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, bro, I never go out of my way to just fold some clothes, bro. I swear to God, I started folding clothes. Like, what the fuck? Who does that shit, bro? Who folds the clothes in 2024? Like, let's be for real. Everybody just puts that shit in the basket and leaves it in the basket and just and just picks shit out when they need it. Like, who the fuck? Who folds clothes and puts them away in 2024? Like, let's be fucking for real right now. Bro, I was folding clothes to distract myself from this girl, bro. So, it was just getting to a point. So, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to text her and be a normal person and just ask her because that's just that's like for some reason that's just the fucking forgotten practice nowadays is just asking somebody straight up do you like me you know what i'm saying whoa like you know what i'm saying mind fucking blown holy shit you know what i'm saying i feel like people don't even fucking know that you can even do that nowadays i feel like people might i don't know i feel like nowadays in this climate you know i mean people might call you like a i don't know people probably are scared that they'll get called like a racist or something or like if they ask some shit like that i don't even know like i feel like today's like cancel culture you might fucking i don't know you might get labeled like a like a sexual predator or some shit if you ask something like that i don't know but um <laughs> i'm just joking of course but um what was I saying? So, yeah, I asked her straight up. I was like, hey, this is random, but I have a question for you. And she was like, oh, okay, what is it? And I was like, listen, I was trying, I was trying to think about exactly what I said, but I'm just probably going to try to paraphrase. But I was just saying, you know, listen, I like you. I feel like I could date you but I want to know if you feel the same way. And then she was just saying, oh, you know, I'm still thinking about that time you ghosted me or some shit like that. Because what happened was is that she found me on TikTok and she saw I lived in Texas. And then she was like, she DM'd me. And so we start talking for maybe a few weeks. And I just stopped talking to her because I feel like every time a girl hits me up on TikTok or some shit, it never goes anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It just... It always ends up fucking just dying and we never talk ever again. So it, I thought it was just one of them moments, you know what I'm saying? It was just, and also I was getting into it with some other girls who were not fucking two hours away from me. So, I mean, and for me, physical relationships just, they just absolutely trump anything else. So it's just, it just it wasn't, you couldn't fucking do anything about it. And so I had to just, I just stopped talking to her I, and it wasn't even like I chose to stop talking to her it's just kind of like I naturally just didn't 
like have the fucking capacity to talk to her. You know what I'm saying? So she's she was talking about that, how I like ghosted her. And I was like, damn, I was telling her I was sorry. Blah blah blah. Um then she wants to say fucking I don't even remember. She was just talking about that and um how she basically just told me she didn't feel the same way. And um uh, but she went about it so weird though. She asked me what I like about her. And I'm like, why are you asking me that if you're if you don't feel the same way? If you're not gonna be able to reciprocate this same shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause she asked me what I like about her and I told her what I liked about her. Being honest. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all you gotta do, just be honest. And so she wanna go and be like I don't know if I can reciprocate these feelings. And I'm like, why the fuck did you even ask that? I feel like that's low-key a little bit narcissistic and self-centered. Because I feel like she just did that shit for an ego boost. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, why would you do that? Why, why would you want to know... Uh, why else would you want to know why someone you don't like... or Why would you want to know the things that this person likes about you but you don't even feel the same way about them. You know what I'm saying? It just all felt so fucking weird. But so anyway, whatever. She don't feel the same way. I was like, all right, cool, that's fine. I'm not really tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, I mean, I know I'm going into a whole spiel about it right now, but I'm not fucking, you know, head over heels for this girl yet. I mean, I'm, you know, I liked her, but it hadn't gotten to a point where it was just like, holy shit, you know what I'm saying? Because we hadn't been talking for that long. We may have been talking for a week and a half. So I'm glad I stopped it there before shit got crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it was two months in and she was leading me on. But, um, yeah, so I'm not tripping about it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. But you know what, bro? After that happened, man, I was just thinking about just going completely femaleless. You know, just getting sober off girls, man. And that's not saying I'm start being gay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being gay. But that, you know, I'm not saying I'm just gonna start transitioning to dudes all of a sudden. I'm, you know, I'm just saying I don't want anything going on. And it's hard, man. It's hard to do that shit. And I don't even know, bro. It's so it's so hard to get off females, man. Or girls, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fucking... I don't know what the proper way to... I, it's hard to get off women. It's hard, man. It's hard. Because... It's just... I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like... I feel like even when... Even when I just... I completely... Just fucking... I cut off all girls. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not... I don't have no situationships. I'm not... You know, I'm not having no one night stands. I'm not having no this, no that. But like, even when that happens, at some point, it's always, it always ends up somebody comes around. You know what I'm saying? Somebody comes around and then the whole fucking cycle repeats itself. And I'm just like, how the fuck? I don't even know. It's just, bro. I'm, I try, man. I try. I try not to talk to girls. I really do, man. I try. I really do. But it's hard. It's hard. Because girls make the the world go round sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I mean, I don't know if I really believe in myself when I say this, but I like to think that I can function well without girls. You know what I'm saying? I, I can function well without having girls around me. Or without talking to a girl. But I don't know, man, because it's hard. It's a, It's been hard. Especially these past few months. Man, I've been talking to so many girls. Like, this summer was just fucking, bro. This summer was absolutely fucking crazy. With, when it comes to females. I was just fucking, bro. Like, damn. It was crazy. So, transitioning into the school year... I'm like, all right, I got to lock in on the schoolwork, not talk to no girls. Man, it's been hard. I'm telling you, it's been hard. And it, I've only been on this shit for like a few days. 
<laughs> like it's been hard not talking to girls, man. But you know what? I feel like it's for the better, though. I feel like it's for the better. People always say, "Don't go out of your way to talk to girls. Let them come to you." You know what I'm saying? But even when I feel like, man, I don't even know, bro. It's like even when I like I'm just chilling, and they do come to me, as I feel like it's so much of a distraction. It's like, how do I know? How do I know when th it's the right time to start talking to females or when, you know, to start talking to girls? I just never know when it's the right time. And I don't think we ever will know when it's the right time. I think we just gotta fucking go in, nose dive into that bitch and just be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I think I'm just thinking about this shit too hard. But uh, part of me just wants to live life right now just completely cut off from any females right now because it's just i feel like there's so much of a distraction but you know what it's just female can motivate you sometimes and you know what that girl from dallas was motivating the shit out of me because she would get shit done for real so i was like damn you know what i'm saying let me let me get shit done because i feel like i was not doing shit and uh you know lately i've been trying to be off my phone less too or you know on, on i've been trying to put down my phone you know what I'm saying? i've been trying to like not be on it as much so that shit motivated me a lot because then and when she wasn't texting me back i'd be like fuck it i ain't looking at my phone put that bitch down you know what i'm saying just not even look at it and get some work done or something but yeah man anyway i think this is a good video i think i'll I finally fucking post this shit i don't i don't think this video is super crazy um uh, because the last couple videos i made i've had some stories which were kind of crazy and i don't know if i can tell them but i'm i feel like i'll end up telling them at some point i just need to find a way to twist it and make it to where it's not crazy and it won't get me fucking caught up in some bullshit but yeah man sorry for not uploading you know really the reason i haven't been uploading is because i got a fucking job you know what i'm saying i got a job i started working like a motherfucker i was working damn 40 hours a week like all summer um and now i got school too but um fuck it man I'll, i'm trying to i'll try to get back on this shit because I, I love doing these videos because i just love like venting i feel like this shit really really helped me like express my feelings in a in a in a more raw way where it's just me fucking just having a train of thought for fucking 30 minutes but yeah man uh i'll fuck with y'all man and thanks for watching these videos and thanks for still sticking around waiting for me to post these shits <laughs> uh but yeah man i'll catch y'all and make sure to check the music out i'll link that shit i've been making some great ass music uh i dropped the album like a couple months ago some bangers on that shit it was kind of just some bullshit music some easy to digest music i just thought i'd tribute make a tribute to that texas sound and rap but uh, I'm going to start trying to go back to my roots, make some real, like, artistic shit and, like, really lock in on this music shit and try to, like, make some make some good-ass music. You know what I'm saying? Make some real music. So, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all. Y'all stay safe. Be good.